Hello, this is Mark Wildman of Wildman Athletica, and today we are going to do a nerd math edition of our three best exercises for overweight individuals. In order to be successful with any type of weight loss strategy, the important thing is, is that we have data tracking. We have to know that we're improving. We're going to explain how to do that in very simple fashion. We had three exercises. We had a suitcase deadlift. We had a box squat and we had a press, two versions of it, standing or seated, so we could really consider these four exercises if you wanna get fancy. So what we would like to do is do volume cycles. Volume cycles. Let's explain what that means. Volume cycles means that we are going to keep our intensity the same and we are going to change the volume of work that we do. So for all of these, we're going to do the same format. We're going to pick a light weight for our initial weight because weights are relatively cheap and surgery is always extremely, extremely expensive. So we're gonna pick something like say, a... our markers aren't working out here in the cold, a six kilogram weight kettlebell. I highly recommend a competition style kettlebell. When you look up kettlebells online, get a competition style. They have larger handles and the bodies are all the same. That way the technique is the same even when the weight changes. You don't have to learn anything new. You continue on with the program. Let's pick say six kilograms and we are going to do three sets. Our markers are freezing of three reps on each side. That's three reps on the left and three reps on the right. Very simple, sorry about the marker, it's cold out here. We record this number and we are gonna put the date next to it. Whatever date you did it, the day of the week and the month and the date. All the information needs to be there so we can track our progress effectively. The next time we're gonna do four sets of three left three right, and then five sets of three left, three right, and then six sets of three left, three right. The important part here is that the three left and the three right does not change. If you change the number of reps, you change the intensity. You make it drastically harder. So if you're doing three reps on each side and that's 100%, then if you add one rep, you got 33% harder. We don't wanna do that yet. We wanna keep our intensity the same. So the three and three stays the same or the four and four or the five and five, whatever your number is. Lower numbers are better in the beginning. What we are changing is the number of sets that we do. So three sets of three and three with a defined break period, one minute break period in between sets. So you pick up your weight, you do three reps on the left, you do three reps on the right, you have a timer. Controlling the time is important. You do a one minute break. Then you go back and you do set two and you do set three and you write that down for the day. The goal is to start easy, to start easy. I'd like to emphasize that again in case people didn't hear me. The goal is to start easy. So easy it feels like you didn't do anything. That way you can convince yourself to do more of it again in the future. If you go and you try to do 20 sets on day one and you're so sore you can't move the next day, then you are unlikely to train again. That is not the point. The point is to train consistently and get stronger over time. So start with something easy. We change one thing at a time. We're changing the number of sets. That increases our volume. So three and three is six reps times three sets is 18 total reps. Next time it'll be six times four will be 24. Next time after that it'll be six times five will be 30 reps. When we get to six times 20, then we will have done 120 reps. We will have taken 18 reps and made it 120 reps. Very simple, you've done a lot more work, which means your body's had more opportunities to learn to fire the muscles, which means you can get better. The goal is that this change of changing one set every time is so slight that it makes it very easy for your body to adapt to. If it puts you into so much pain that you don't wanna do it again, then we have defeated the point. We will do this same math for everything, for the suitcase deadlift, for the box squat, and for the press. 
go ahead and make two categories. Make it standing and seated two separate categories and consider them two separate things. So instead of this three exercises, consider it four, just to be nerdy about it, to keep our note taking on point. Simple strategy, start easy. When you get to our three sets of three, is six reps times 20 total sets for each exercise, then you can go back. You have two options at that point. You can either get a heavier weight, which is not a bad option, they're not that expensive, or you can change the three and three to four and four and start over at three sets of four and four. So we had our three times four and four, which is really three times eight is 24. The next time we would add one set and it would be four times eight, and then it would be five times eight, and that would go down until we got to 20 times eight, which would be 160 reps. 160 reps is greater than 120 reps, and then we would start it over and we would do five and five. We would repeat that over and over and over again. If we went to a heavier weight, we would go back to three and three. The math is simple, but it's complicated if you're not writing it down. The point is that you write it down, you change one thing on the page, and you figure it out. Over time, you will get better and better and better. This is an easy way to build up your strength and endurance so that you can then go to more advanced programs later. Record all the data. So if you're doing a suitcase deadlift, if you don't have the range of motion to get all the way down to the ground, measure the height of the object you're setting the kettlebell on and record that. You can then change the height of that box as well. Same thing with your box squat. Find yourself a sturdy object and set it up. Measure the height and write it down because you can change the number of sets, you can change the weight of the kettlebell, or you can change the height of the box. All of those variables are very simple and they are all controllable and you can do them all at home. The goal is to get good at this stuff in a very slow and controlled manner. You could do suitcase deadlift one day, box squat the next day, press the next day, suitcase deadlift, a box, and then seated press. And run these programs over and over and over and over and over again. Simple, effective, requires very little equipment, and will help build your core strength and your basic movement capacity to become better and more fit so that you can then move on to other types of programs. This has been Mark Wildman of Wildman Athletica. If this doesn't make sense, ask questions, and we'll keep making videos until this makes sense.